Sorley will throw short and a good open field tackle. Tompkins brought down Penn State doesn't get close. Welcome back Jordan Lewis. He's in the slot. You know exactly where he's going to be. Question that why would you throw the ball at Michigan's best player? I know it's just a screen there but no way that offensive lineman is going to be able to get out there in an athletic position to block Jordan Lewis. And Jordan Lewis is 5'10", 175 pounds. But I think he's the best cover corner in the entire country. He's in receivers' hip pockets all day long. and makes it so difficult to get any separation. That was a great play. Yep. What a smart football player to throw Peppers is. Downfield, and it is incomplete. 31-yard field goal. Here's Wisconsin with the ball. Off the play fake. Alex Hornibrook comes out throwing. And it is dropped. Had Jazz Peavy, it looked like. And this is the third time they've tried to throw the ball down the field to Jazz Peavy. This ball was underthrown, Steve. If this ball was thrown out in front of Peavy, he has the speed to go get it. I think because of the fact that Hornibrook has overthrown him twice already in this game and Lewis with the, threw it. great job there by Lewis the corner with his right hand at the very end of the play he got his head around in time that allowed him the opportunity to get his hand in there and break it up a five yard line pitch to Corey Clement Clement's taken down for a loss Jordan Lewis the tackle drama young quarterback on the road 111,000 people Hoping you fail. Third and five. Hornibrook able to complete. Juggling, great catch, but it's not enough for the first down. Guess who again? Making a huge play. Not to batting the ball or intercepting it, but Jordan Lewis on the tackle. If he doesn't get this tackle, Wheelwright gets a first down and a fresh set of downs. I mean, this is a huge play by Jordan Lewis. Down the middle of the field. Intercepted. Jordan Lewis with your exclamation point. And very likely the dagger. You got George rushing out there on Jordan Lewis. And Lewis has made play after play in this game. You saw him in the running game. And if this isn't a sports center top 10 play, I don't know what is. Wow. And with the game on the line, makes oh. that play. I mean, he's been just smothering these receivers all day long. They haven't thrown his way a whole lot. And that's why. I mean, this guy, not only is he, is he Velcro, as Don Brown would call it, on the receiver all day, but, but he can make the play on the ball, too. He's a special player. And he has taken over leadership here. Everybody talks about Peppers, Heisman this, Heisman that. This is, this might be the best player on this team, is number 26. And that's not taking anything away from Jabril Peppers. With the leg injury to Janarian Grant, who's the leading receiver and special teams player, Grant is out for the year likely. Laviano loads up the deep ball down the middle, incomplete. He wanted Andre Patton, the senior, and it's second down. They took a shot against the All-American Jordan Lewis. Patton got down the middle, but Jordan Lewis is a tremendous cover guy. He's a big body. He's almost six feet tall and 190 pounds. And what Lewis did right there, he might have arrived a little bit early and got the forearm, but he closed on the ball, and that's his M.O. He closes well, and the ball's in the air. On Vaughn, will take the snap. Vaughn in some trouble. McCray. Harassing him in the backfield and lose big yardage as Jordan Lewis came in to finish him off. O'Connor will throw. And he's going to hoist one up. And it's going to be intercepted. Jordan Lewis picks it off. 27 seconds to go. Two timeouts for Michigan. Why, if you're Michigan State? I hope you're not asking me that question. Because I just told you you can't do that. What are the percentages here for Michigan State in spite of the fact that you're down 14? I mean, does this show a sense of desperation just hoisting sure. one up? Sure. Well, and you also get blasted. Taco Charlton does a wonderful spin cycle move. The defensive end, and he puts his, his helmet right into the chest of O'Connor, forces that throw. 
But this is what you could not do down 14. But this is what you know this. We see this. This is what elite competition does, what Alabama does. Right? They just start to break your will, and ultimately you do get frustrated because it is so difficult to play against them. They're going to try and run it again. L.J. Scott flagged down as he turns the corner and gets shut down by Jordan Lewis. Holy offense, number 70. Definitely supplied. And then I got L.J. Scott on the corner one-on-one. -on -one. And you just watch the execution. And that's a senior. That's a senior safety that's keeping his outside arm free that he's winning. And then the one-on-one, -on -one, my corner beats your running back. A game of one-on-ones. I've got my running back on your corner. Michigan wins. It's not so easy to get that high to touch that banner. you got to have some high. I put it at 50-50 if you could touch it. Did you swing and miss a few times? Long throw for D.J. Moore. Big part of this Michigan defense. 11th tackles for losses by the Wolverines today. Rowe is throwing, looking for D.J. Moore, and it's knocked away. Excellent coverage by Jordan Lewis. And they continue to try to throw the ball on Jordan Lewis, and I don't understand it. Your guy's not going to be open against 26 in blue. Great covers. Look at him get his head around and play the football. He's, he's as good as there is in the country at that. I mean, he's in your hip pocket all day. He does a great job of reading receivers' eyes. And that ball goes in the air, receivers' eyes get big. And when he sees those eyes get big, he turns around and, and finds the football, tracks it over his shoulder. Like I said, as well as any cover corner I've watched this year. Todd, where do you have him on the corners coming out? Uh, he's one of the top five. I, I, I think I've got him number 32 overall. He's got a chance, I would say, probably early second round. Again, Rowe is throwing, and again, it's Lewis knocking it. What are we doing here? He's locking down on D.J. Moore, Todd. Down, uh, kind of a salty defensive professor. And third and ten, they try a screen and heavy traffic. Smith grabs it, but they were all over him. Very, very tough to beat. The all-world corner, Jordan Lewis, the All-American. Eight different plays, Michigan State inside that ten-yard line, and didn't come away with any points. Beathard rolls out, fires far side, making the catch and getting hammered is Riley McCarron did well to hang on as Jordan Lewis, who's given up only a handful of yards all season, made the hit. Yeah, They're down now. Great coverage, but how about the concentration that time by McCarron to somehow hold on to that football? Clearly, Michigan made that a point of emphasis starting out in the second half. Off play action, Lego taking a shot, and it is almost intercepted. Ricky Jones knocked it away from Jordan Lewis, the all Big Ten corner. Hard to throw at him and have success. Perfect coverage. Arm extended. That is outstanding technique from the defenders. Lego throws. Dropped at the 40 yard line. Donovan Hale couldn't hang on. It would have been a first down. Instead, Indiana's punting. This is the best secondary play I've seen from a team this year. Every throw is contested. You have to be so deadly accurate. Barrett, option look. Samuel hit in the backfield and dropped for a loss. That was Jordan Lewis, the All-American corner, making a play. What are the odds they give Jabril Peppers a chance to return this kickoff? 0.0. Uh, <laughs> Scoots it along the ground. See if the Wolverines have a little magic here. Jordan Lewis can dance free. Jordan Lewis has some space. Cuts back. Gets into Ohio State territory. Heart in mouth time for the Buckeye faithful. What are you going to do on third and 11? To throw. Far side. Ball.